Xenoarchaeology, branch of xenology dealing with extraterrestrial cultures, is a hypothetical form of archaeology that exists mainly in works of science fiction. The field is concerned with the study of material remains to reconstruct and interpret past life ways of alien civilizations. Xenoarchaeology is not currently practiced by mainstream archaeologists due to the current lack of any material for the discipline to study. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The name derives from Greek xenos, xenos which means stranger, alien, and archaeology study of ancients. Xenoarchaeology is sometimes called astroarchaeology or exoarchaeology, although some would argue that the prefix exo would be more correctly applied to the study of human activities in a space environment. Other names for xenoarchaeology, or specialized fields of interest, include probe SETI, search for extraterrestrial intelligence, extraterrestrial archaeology, space archaeology, SETI. A search for extraterrestrial artifacts, Dysonian SETI, Planetary SETI, SET search for extraterrestrial technology, SETV search for extraterrestrial visitation, extraterrestrial anthropology, aerioarchaeology and selenoarchaeology. Justification It is arguably the case that, due to the immense distances between stars, any evidence we discover of extraterrestrial intelligence, whether it be an artifact or an electromagnetic signal, may come from a long-vanished civilization. Thus the entire SETI project can be seen as a form of archaeology. Additionally, due to the extreme age of the universe, there may be a reasonable expectation for astrobiology research to produce evidence of extinct alien life prior to the discovery of alien life itself. The study of alien cultures might offer us glimpses into our own species' past or future development. Vicki Walsh argued for the existence of exo artifacts using the principle of mediocrity and the Drake equation. She proposed that a theoretical and speculative field of archaeology be established in order to test outlandish claims, and to prepare for a time when undeniably extraterrestrial artifacts needed to be analyzed. If it is possible to construct an abstract archaeology that can be tested and refined on Earth and then applied to areas beyond our planet, then the claims for ETI remains on the Moon and Mars may really be evaluated in light of established archaeological theory and analysis." Ben McGee similarly proposed the creation of a set of interdisciplinary, proactive xenoarchaeological guidelines, arguing that identifying suspected artifacts of astrobiology is all that is required to justify establishing a methodology for xenoarchaeology. He emphasized the necessity of proactive xenoarchaeological work in order to avoid future bias, mischaracterization, and information mismanagement, and he cites three scenarios under which such a methodology or set of guidelines would be useful, those being, "...remote sensing." of a potential xenoarchaeological artifact, encountering an artifact during "...human exploration." and terrestrial interception of an artifact greg fewer has argued that archaeological techniques should be used to evaluate alleged ufo landing or crash sites such as roswell topic <laughs> history The origins of the field have been traced to theories about a hypothetical Martian civilization based on observations of what were perceived as canals on Mars. 
These theories, of which Percival Lowell was the most famous exponent, were apparently inspired by a mistranslation of a quote by Giovanni Schiaparelli. The 1997 Theoretical Archaeology Group Conference featured a session on "...archaeology and science fiction". The 2004 annual meeting of the American Anthropological Association featured a session Anthropology, Archaeology and Interstellar Communication. Planetary SETI Planetary SETI is concerned with the search for extraterrestrial structures on the surface of bodies in the Solar System. Claims for evidence of extraterrestrial artifacts can be divided into three groups, the Moon, Mars, and the other planets and their satellites. Examples of sites of interest include the bridge cited in the Mare Crisium in 1953, and the Blair Cuspids, an unusual arrangement of seven spire-like objects of varying heights, at the western edge of the Mare Tranquilitatis, photographed by In Lunar Orbiter 2 on November 20, 1966. In 2006, Ian Crawford proposed that a search for alien artifacts be conducted on the Moon. Percival Lowell's mistaken identification of Martian canals was an early attempt to detect and study an alien culture from its supposed physical remains. More recently, there was interest in the supposed face on Mars. The Society for Planetary SETI Research is a loose organization of researchers interested in this field. The organization does not endorse any particular conclusions drawn by its members on particular sites. <laughs> Probe SETI, or SETA A great deal of research and writing has been done, and some searches conducted for extraterrestrial probes in the Solar System. This followed the work of Ronald N. Bracewell. Robert Freitas, Christopher Rose and Gregory Wright have argued that interstellar probes can be a more energy-efficient means of communication than electromagnetic broadcasts, if so, a solar-centric search for extraterrestrial artifacts would seem to be favored over the more traditional radio or optical searches. Robert A. Freitas coined the term SETA in the 1980s, on the basis that the Earth-Moon or Sun-Earth libration orbits might constitute convenient parking places for automated extraterrestrial probes. Unsuccessful searches were conducted by Freitas and Valdez. Topic: <laughs> Dysonian SETI. In a 1960 paper, Freeman Dyson proposed the idea of a Dyson sphere, a type of extraterrestrial artifact able to be searched for and studied at interstellar distances. Following that paper, several searches have been conducted. In a 2005 paper, Luke Arnold proposed a means of detecting smaller, though still mega scale, artifacts from their distinctive transit light curve signature. See Astroengineering. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Fringe theories. A subculture of enthusiasts studies purported structures on the Moon or Mars. These controversial structures, such as the face on Mars, are not accepted as more than natural features by most scientists. Examples of the pareidolia phenomenon. Paleocontact or ancient astronaut theories, espoused by Eric von Daniken and others, are further examples of fringe theories. These claim that the Earth was visited in prehistoric times by extraterrestrial beings. Topic: 
Topic: Science fiction. Xenoarchaeological themes are common in science fiction. Works about the exploration of enigmatic extraterrestrial artifacts have been satirically categorized as big dumb object stories. Some of the more prominent examples of xenoarchaeological fiction include Arthur C. Clarke's novel Rendezvous with Rama, H. Beam Piper's short story Omnilingual, and Charles Sheffield's Heritage Universe series. Jack McDivitt's science fiction novels often revolve around human or alien historical and archaeological mysteries. Mass Effect's plot revolves around technologies in the form of structures, transportation, buildings and machines left behind by an extinct alien race. The primary setting of Halo, Combat Evolved takes place on a massive structure created by an ancient, extinct alien super race. These structures feature prominently in the sequels Halo 2, Halo 3, and Halo 4. In the video game, Borderlands, and its sequel, Borderlands 2. The Atlas Corporation started mining the planet Pandora after finding evidence of an ancient material called iridium. This material was supposedly created by extraterrestrial creatures or as a natural product of long-term planetary production. In the video game, Stellaris, players can often find extraterrestrial artifacts from a extinct civilization before actually encountering native spaceborne creatures or other present-day extraterrestrial civilizations topic <laughs> <laughs> novels gateway by fred pohl Noon Universe by Strugatsky Brothers. 2001, A Space Odyssey by Arthur C. Clarke. Rendezvous with Rama by Arthur C. Clarke. Wasteland of Flint by Thomas Harlan. House of Reeds by Thomas Harlan. The Season of Passage by Christopher Pike. Broken Angels by Richard Morgan. Strata by Terry Pratchett Revelation Space by Alistair Reynolds Grass by Sherry S. Tepper The Voyage of the Space Beagle by A. E. Van Vogt The Engines of God by Jack McDevitt The Hercules Text by Jack McDevitt The Novels in the Heritage Universe by Charles Sheffield the Past of Forever, Children of the Stars, Book 4 by Juanita Colson. Saga of Seven Sons, most notably Book 1, Hidden Empire by Kevin J. Anderson. Heritage Trilogy by Ian Douglas. Ringworld and its sequels by Larry Niven. The Gia Trilogy by John Varley. The Giants series by James P. Hogan. Topic: <laughs> Short stories. Omnilingual by H. Beam Piper. The Sentinel by Arthur C. Clarke. At the Mountains of Madness by H. P. Lovecraft. The Vaults of Yo Vombies by Clark Ashton Smith. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Computer and Video Games. Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. Alien Legacy. Star Trek: A Final Unity. Rama, based on Clark's novel. Freelancer Freespace Wing Commander, Privateer The Dig Doom 3 Halo series 
Mass Effect, mysteries related to an extinct race known as the Protheans figure prominently in the plot and one of the characters you get in your party is a xenoarchaeologist. Also, it's a profitable business, giving rise to various paleotechnological companies recovering functioning devices, which are often superior to indigenous technology of the 22nd century. Civilization, Call to Power Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic Although the Star Wars saga doesn't take place in our galaxy or the human time frame, the game's main concept is discovering traces of an ancient stellar empire of unknown aliens that existed before the Galactic Republic. Resistance StarCraft series Aliens vs. Predator Aliens vs. Predator Dead Space Borderlands Metal Fatigue Marathon 2, Durandal The Lacuna Expanse, there are many buildings that were left behind on hundreds of thousands of planets by a mysterious species known only as the Great Race. Stellaris, several missions and events in the game have the player's civilization investigating traces of ancient precursor civilizations as well as other civilizations that existed in the past. Movies Alien Stargate Doom Total Recall Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull Alien vs. Predator Prometheus Destination, Outer Space features a robot that visited Earth over 2,000 years ago. Forbidden Planet Television. <inaudible> 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 Babylon 5 Star Trek Stargate Doctor Who Stargate SG-1 and its spin-off Stargate Atlantis Martian Chronicles, Ray Bradbury See also Astrobiology Pseudoarchaeology SETI Space archaeology Xenolinguistics <laughs> <laughs>